All right, so today I want to do resources mixed in with uh, multi-threading and asynchronous uh, loading of those resources. So currently, I check out the application. I am, yes, right here, sure that right now these are all being loaded synchronously, as in like the thread that calls this function is also the one that's loading the resources. Not being done in another thread while I go on and do other things. It's all together. Now, if I, because... I changed it a while back so that each of these pools has its own, uh, can set its own asynchronous function call. And since I'm not setting any of them, I'm 100% sure that if I, if I was to run this right now, into the, come on, come on, resource load, that it's just gonna like, uh, it's just gonna happen on the main thread. Even though I have the infrastructure in place to do it asynchronously, like, right? Go inside of here, do 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 do. Yeah, it's doing it in line right there rather than asynchronously. And I want to change that. I want to make sure that I make the changes so that this happens as I want it to. So to begin with, you know, uh, I need to pull this out from here. Um, yes, equals that. All of that and then this becomes that two things one is that secondly this uh, I need to set the async path function which is async tasks something or other which I am doing uh, up here this isn't even being done asynchronously anyways okay async task function yes yes Okay, before I even do that, let's make sure that whatever's happening up there, this is going to work, right? No problems, no problems. Or, well, okay, there's some kind of leak, but is it actually anything to do with me? No, it's the external stuff. Okay, I don't care then. Do not care, so let's make sure. Hey, PR armature, does that work? Yeah, I don't. I don't even want to run. I just want to do that. Okay. Second, the material pool. P material pool that. Okay, that's a no. There's something very wrong going on in here. Okay, let's put that to the side for the moment. Let's just check the others. Mesh pool, mesh pool. That one is fine. Nothing different. Do, 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 do. Text descriptor pool equals that. And finally, that. Okay, and then we move back to material, hopefully, and that's just something by itself, right? 
Yes. Okay, so something in the material pool is not happening very nicely at all. What? They're not... Oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. So part of this new allocator, so somewhere in the import function of this, get resource. Okay, so this should be fine. This is returning that. So this is being returned back to here, which is being returned back to here. This is getting lost. Why? All right. So this is doing, okay, if. Ah, okay. Yeah, 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 this should be it. So what's probably happening is this should be going into here, right? That's basically a handle, and I'm just replacing that handle right here. So I was only replacing the, the create info with the new handle only if create info already had something, which is of course incorrect or should have been incorrect. Let me go back up. Let me make sure that, oh no, no, this is one of these things, right? Null handle, create info. Create, it. yeah, it's a null handle. Okay. I'm going to bet that that was it. It's just like, it, it, the create info was used and then it was just lost. And that's what's going on there, right? Yes. So I'll put that in at least. That's something that needs to be kept. When a create info is loaded during a resources load call. Now why didn't, why was it not being leaked? Uh, when it was a synchronous call. It's very weird. Hmm. No idea. Unless it's because the create info was filled or, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not going to even bother. When a create info is loaded during a resource load call. Was only added if there was previously. Um, pointers yes, was discarded. Reading to a leak. Okay. That's that. This is here. Great. This is, where is this used? This is used here and then it's just used here. Where do I even, because I used to use async task function. I used to give it directly to the simulation, 
when I created it and I don't even use it anymore anyway so I'll actually remove this entirely it's just not needed so that's gone that's gone anything else from here not really Port state no longer uses this. So I can actually just move this way down here instead. Let's scope it to that point. Okay. Okay, so that, so this, I'll do that, because it's not used here anyways quite yet, but this and this. Nope, I need to update the copyright. simple enough great okay so now I am down here these are you know how many places do I even call this um, oh no not sorry not this this Virtual async task function. I use it literally just here. Here, here, and here if I had XR running, which I do not right now. But otherwise, I just use it in tests. And then I have the declaration and the definition. Hmm. This would seem to me to be an excellent opportunity while doing resource work to be able to change this up to be more, to be a free floating or free function interface and FFI see so that I can actually use it with just plain old C headers or in a C program or with Rust or any of the others. Because the only item, I mean, okay, you got the standard error code and you got the standard function, and that's kind of it. And that's the standard int. So this is what I'm going to do now. I'm going to actually do this, where I'm going to change, because it's literally just the three locations. What about this one, actually? Is this used anywhere else? No. Okay, perfect. I am going to update this. <sighs> yeah. Okay. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to, yeah, I'm just going to work on this. So we have that, we have the thread pool, we have that stuff. I need a type def. I need a couple type defs for, because what I want to do is I want to change it to be, if it's going to have to be C, it's going to have to be like it's, avoids 
function pointer that takes in a void star, which is just the context. It has to be that. Even if you don't use that, you can just pass a null pointer. But, I mean, this is basically what um, standard function does anyways, if you pass it any, like, context. Like, uh, in resource, passing these three items in results in the standard function uh, allocating something on the heap, which is the context, and then basically, high, in a hidden way, passes that in so that this function can be run you know, even if it's, you know, the con this context is just gone because it's no longer inside the function. Like, it, it, it's got, it's, you know, it was done asynchronously and it's gone. All that context is stored on the heap somewhere, along with the function pointer. So I'm just going to be replicating that just manually. So I need star EFN. that, I guess, uh, and it's type def, right? Type def that. And then I need, that's the task itself. And then I need, <laughs> I need another type def, which is this, tfn. <sighs> task call, task Scheduler task. Because I need something to replace. Uh, this. Because I still need to pass. Because I need. Not only do I need like the actual function pointer. And the, and the context for that function. I need the, the context of like what thread pool is this supposed to be a part of. That's. Hmm. That's okay. Uh, for schedule, a function for scheduling task, which is going to have to take in the void star, which is, or would it be that? Yeah, I'll just pass it any context so that, that it is fully. Um, Generic, so you can actually change it out for a different thread pool instead of the, this one specifically. Um, TFN for task, so that function pointer, and then avoid star for the context, for the context for the, this call, like that. Yeah, okay. That means. Down here, I need two new, I need this. I need a task, or star key, task, and text. And I need to do the exact same thing right here. Change those up and go on down to, oh, uh, thread pool. This is a C++. I'm not even going to bother. Change this up to H as well while we're here. Oh, no, no, I can't do that quite yet. No, I'm not, no, oh, geez. I cannot click. Functional is going away, yes. So go on down here, we have that, we're going to go down to the thread pool, we're going to start, stop, scheduling task, okay. So this is this, this, this. that and it's what p task p task context that is what we're doing in here and in here no 
Okay. Rolling back into this. I got the task. Yeah, um... These need, need to change to be a function pointer of, or no, um, schedule task, isn't it? All right. Uh, yep, yeah, get out of here. That, it's going to become that. Uh -huh. Can I do that? Phone split thread pool. Okay. This is now changed up into I need to include the key for the moment. I'm going to change that sooner or later. But this does mean uh, in this thing here. Okay, actually, no, I'll include it here. it there and what's going to happen it's going to be fn oh, schedule task those two things which will be set by this instead That we move on down to this. And the context is that. Okay. Uh, this need does mean I need to change up the resource call. To, oh, I need to do a bunch of things with this. Uh, <laughs> right. Well, I did say it was going to be resources and multi-threading stuff. Okay. Uh, I should have, there's another function up here, the create function, create, 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 create resource. No, there you are, create this. This is what I'm looking for. Okay, so namespace, I need to change it out from, so that it's no longer an independent, like this. Instead, it's like a separate function. So this would be like, um, uh, what, it's a void, it's, Eight. What is this doing? Create info. It's a void. 
Void star context, which is supposed to be. There's two things we bring in the resource and the P resource. Wait, can't I just. This. Wait. I only need this, right? Because I can do. That, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So in this case, the context I pass in is literally just going to be this. So I can just say, you know, this is a um, that. Variable P resource cannot be implicitly captured in a blah, 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 blah. Who cares? There. This turns into that. And then I need a little bit of a if resource P resource functions schedule. Then I want to do this. So make a bit of space, make a bit of space, make it a bit more obvious. Schedule async task. Hmm. This no, yeah. No, yeah, 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 yeah. It would be, first of all, the resource functions and the context. Then it's the function. And then it's the functions context. Now, what's going on with this? Can I initialize this with value of that? Type mismatch void star versus that. So I can just say, hey, you know what this is? This is a, uh, a that. Deal with it. And do similarly for the other one down here, the load function. See about that. Load resource data. Which is what this is going to become in a second. Uh, it's using post load function, so it has to be after that, so yeah. So this has got to have multiple things, right? There's a uh, resource, okay, there's P resource and that. And anything else? I don't see anything. Maybe I should rename this. Load resource with a task. Maybe, I don't know, nah, whatever. I need a struct. So the load. That, I guess, which is going to be is that, and then we have the boolean for the refresh uh, create info.
that equals p context p resource and then i'm just going to do this one manually because it's like that but this is resource to handle of p resource I'm not doing anything to it. Yep. Load task, import. And then this is like what? Um, Source task it's going to become that. It's going to become this with okay. Uh, the, so this is going to be heap allocated. So I need to do at the at the end of this. This is going to be destroyed. Um, so this. Uh, there's nothing actually in there to be worried about. And then down here, I'm going to have load task creators data star. Source and uh, that equals refresh grid info. Okay, and then we're passing that through to these guys. So it'll be deleted no matter which way we go. The load function is gone. So here we have that. That. I just, ooh, yeah. Um, let's see if I can do both at the same time, just for the moment, you know? You know? side we want to do this the task the old okay so I have both now together forever. one that's the old one that's the old one that's the old 
old one. That's the old one. That, whoa, come on. Okay, <laughs> I've completely, uh, what did I do last time? And no, not this file, this file, please. This is what it was, give it back. That this becomes that, and I'm passing in thread pool as the context. And that's incorrect somehow as well. How? Schedule task. No viable conversion from this to that. Hmm. Okay, is it because of this? Yes. Okay, I can do, there's two ways I could do. I could either t uh, cast it here, or I'm going to do this, where I'm gonna say auto thread pool equals interpret cast of Third pool because okay. <clears throat> Let's see if that works. Armature is all loaded up and the animation's happening. And that was the armature pool, right? Yes. Okay. 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 Um, I just need to kind of do this a bunch more times. That. 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 And that. the armature pool here, along with um, hmm. graphics resource, include uh, image pool there. And then on the source side, gotta do that.
Oh, and physics, it has one yes as well. Seems to work. Uh, I wonder how good it works, though. How many new memory? No new memory leaks, which I will absolutely take. Close those to the right. Uh, get rid of this. So if that's the case, that was the last actual location where these were used, right? There, there, and there. Yeah, that was that was it, and none here, right? Okay, so what I'm going to do this in a in a two. Yeah, in, in two commits. One, we'll focus on just th the thread pool here. So trash the old stuff. Nobody likes it. C plus plus. Oh, nobody likes it. Useless, useless, I say. Um, about that, it's that, and that. This is still using standard error code, so that's not going to be changing quite yet. Task. Scheduler, basically. <laughs> Functional is gone. Standard range H, great. This. Should be changing. This is uh, not needed. This is what we need. We need a set of these tasks and <clears throat> what's going to happen is task task equals task. Task context. That is what's going around.
way down here, which is passing these items. Okay. Maybe not. Oh, the um, right. The tests. The tests. The tests. The tests is the wrong one because it's this one. Okay, what we got? Uh, test, test, okay. <clears throat> These need to be changed to take in a void star. And that one, two, these, both these tasks, and I'm just passing in nothing for them. did not work. What's going on? Wait. This date, whoa, this again? Two bytes, or two objects and two objects. The same ones again? What? What is going on? Relink everything, great. Do that. Is it just sometimes? Okay, whatever. Maybe it is just sometimes and I didn't actually fix it through that. Whatever, um, it'll crop up again eventually if it is a real problem. So we got that split thread pool. None of these need to change right now. I still need to do that though. Copyright one, copyright two, copyright three. Oh, I need to save that. Function interface. With a big uh, blocker, the extensive use. Function. Okay. 
Okay. These are already in place. Okay. With that, with those done, I can get rid of this, right? This is not used at all. Mm, oh, yes, it is. That and that. Stop that. Um, void star, PFM, okay, task, and void star, right? That, good. There we go. And yeah, that'll be, it's, Not so great. So when I'm in here, I'm trying to sh schedule the async task. What happens here? I'm trying to invoke this. And somehow I'm not actually going through and doing this. Resource test for resource. Wrong application again. That's an L pointer. That's an actual task. And then this is, oh yes, that's why. Task and the context. That's why. Yeah, yeah. Should have been pretty obvious right from the get go. I'll do this separately. All these guys need to be updated for that. Because this does not, originally did not have the async stuff whatsoever. So, 
and then they're nope they're all got this year copyright year so that and then I'm going to slap on all of these items too. Okay. Is there anything else I can think of doing right off? Hmm. There is a case, perhaps, when load call oh, no. okay here if we're unloading and I need to do something where I check if int uses equals resource use count I want to do a warning here little extra warning that's great to have what is this just under an hour so I think I'll probably call it there that's pretty solid amount of work and I gotta get the other it's 10 o'clock yeah Call it a night on that. So until next time, cheers.